Today's video, I'm going to show you how to treat mild dandruff naturally using this remedy, as well as some tips that are gonna help you to keep dandruff under control. So don't forget to share some love to this girl by liking this video. And let's get started with step number one, which is understanding the difference between dandruff and dry scalp. So first of all, dandruff is caused by an excess oil sebum on your scalp. On the other hand, dry scalp is caused by the lack of moisture on your scalp. So basically, you have a lot of dry skin on your scalp. Both conditions are very tricky because they have the same symptoms such as white flaky and itchy scalp. However, they do require different treatments. So make sure that when you have it is dandruff because the treatment that I'm about to show you, it is not suitable for dry scalp. Now that you understand this, let's move on to the second step which is preparing the dandruff treatment. This is super simple. All you're gonna do is to squeeze one entire lemon into a one cup of water. And once you are done extracting the juice, go ahead and add two drops of tea tree oil into the mixture. The citric acid in lemons will help you to remove the excess oils from your scalp which could lead to dandruff and the tea tree oil is antiseptic which will help to eliminate and prevent dandruff from developing easy on your scalp. When it comes to application, all you need to remember is that this is only meant to be applied on your scalp and to be used as a pre-shampoo treatment once a week. So make sure to detangle your hair throughout before application. Now all you're gonna do is to use a cotton pad to sprinkle some of the lemon juice directly on the areas of your scalp where you get the most itch or you can visibly see dandruff. Now that your scalp is completely soaked in this lemon juice treatment, the third step is massaging your scalp with your fingertips for about 3 minutes so that you can break down all those extra oils laying on your scalp. Once you're finished, cover your head with a plastic bag for 10 minutes to allow the lemon juice to be absorbed. A few moments later. And when time is up, follow up with my hair wash routine to ensure proper rinse and cleanup of your scalp and hair after this treatment. There are two important things that you need to know about preventing dandruff. First thing that you need to know is that your dandruff problem could be caused by a scalp buildup. This could be linked to the way you're washing your hair and the hair products that you are currently using. So shampoo's main purpose is to remove oils and dirt from your scalp. So to make sure shampoo is effective when you're washing, you need to take your time to actually massage the shampoo on your scalp completely using your fingers fingertips or using a scalp massager, which in some cases is super beneficial, especially if you tend to develop dandruff most of the time. And when it's time to rinse the shampoo off, make sure to remove it completely so there is no shampoo residue left on your scalp that it can potentially turn into a buildup in the following days. When it comes to ingredients and hair care products that it could potentially cause you more dandruff, make sure to stay away from sulfates, parabens, and mineral oils because these ingredients are too harsh on the scalp which can potentially lead to irritation, dry scalp, and even dandruff. Trying to find shampoos that contain aloe vera, tea tree oil, peppermint, in it, which actually are ingredients proven to fight dandruff and be super gentle on your scalp. In order to avoid more potential buildup on your scalp, always make sure to spread any hair product including conditioners, hair mask treatments, leave-in conditioners, hair serums, or even natural oils only on the metals to the ends of your hair. Second thing that you need to know about preventing dandruff is related to the excess oils that your scalp is producing. Sometimes it is inevitable not to develop dandruff because stress, hormones, even the environment could be causing you dandruff. But other times your habits could be the reason why you have dandruff. Every time I skip the day that I was supposed to wash my hair or I wash my hair a few days before my hair wash schedule, my scalp becomes super oily, super itchy, and most of the time end up developing dandruff. Compared to the days where I actually stick to my schedule, my scalp looks more balanced, is more clean, and it actually stays dandruff-free for a long period of time. So do your best to be 
consistent on the days that you are supposed to wash your hair and try to wash your hair every three days so then you can keep your scalp balanced and super clean throughout the week. Another simple thing that you can do to reduce extra oil production is to rinse your scalp at the end of your shower with cool water for 10 seconds. This is going to help to close the oil production glands on your scalp so that your scalp will be less greasy at the end of your shower. So when you are out of the shower, avoiding heat on your scalp is super important in order to reduce extra oils. Try your best to air dry your hair most of the time and if you have to use heat on your hair, trying to use the warm setting instead of the hot setting of the dryer and also avoid putting the hair dryer nozzle directly on your scalp. Remember, good levels of hydration in your body are going to help you to reduce how much oil you produce on your scalp and your skin in general. So as simple as drinking water or even green tea every day can help you to keep dandruff under control. Unfortunately, there is no permanent cure for dandruff. The only things that you can do is having an extra care for your scalp and also a more healthy lifestyle can definitely improve your condition. Don't forget to share some love to this girl by subscribing to this channel right here. I love you all. See you next time. Pura vida.